always repping the Grizzlies. Ignore me. Today, I wanted to make it like a little video on something very unfortunate that happened to me. This is a very sad, sad day. But I want to tell you about the time that I got fired. Yes, I was fired. So I don't exactly know if it's possible or if it's happened to anyone else, but I might have made history here. I was hired and fired in the same day. Yeah, that happened. Oh, I feel like it would only happen to me. Just my luck. So when I first moved here, I came here and I didn't have a job. I came here without a job without a job. As you can tell from my previous vlogs, um, like from when I first moved here, that a lot of them are me job hunting, going to interviews and all that sort of fun stuff that's not really fun. So eventually I got a job. It was at... So it was at... Um, I don't exactly know the guy's name. He wasn't that nice. I'm whatever. So he was, it was a real estate firm, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, it was a real estate firm. And this guy was older and he was in this really nice building, but he had a very small office with a bunch of desks and his office and then another office that I thought was his office and a back room and it was just very unorganized there it looked very old like an old guy decorated it and there was a bunch of files everywhere miscellaneous kind of like file cabinets it was a mess and the computers were all old the software was old um, it was hard to work with. So this guy hires me on the spot. He's like, okay, great, you know, can you start today? So I'm filling out like my all my paperwork and then there's like a couple tests that I have to do, like a speed typing test and like an Excel spreadsheet test. And I am not like terrible at Excel. I'm not also super fantastic. And this guy wanted me to recreate this form or chart or something. And it was supposed to be super easy, but I haven't used an old version of Excel in so long. So just imagine how difficult that was for me. First world problems page. Then, um, you know, I'm doing, my, I'm doing my thing for a little while and then it's lunchtime. There, there's another lady there with me and she's like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to be here to help train you, but then after, you know, you're done, I am going to leave and it is going to be just you and him. Running this entire office! This lady decides to take me out for lunch and we go to uh, the California Pizza Kitchen thing um, and it was like really good. I don't know what I had, but it was amazing. And I'm like asking her, I was like, so do you, cause I needed, I knew that when I moved here, I needed another job. And so I was like, is he going to be okay? Like with me having another job? And she's like, yeah, just like, let him know. And I put it on my application because, okay, side note, I had already had a second job. I was working or employed at Olive Garden. Hadn't actually started working there yet. Never actually worked there because long story. Yeah, she said it was perfectly fine just to like let him know that I, you know, had a second job and that if he ever needed me, it would be all hands on deck. I now hate that phrase a lot. So we finish lunch and then we go back to the um, office and he wants to go over something else and I have another test that I have to take. And it is this basic office procedure test. Um, so yeah, I'm reading this manual that he has made and it is a lot of pages and he's like, oh yeah, you only have like an hour to do it. Um, and so then I, you know, take this test and you know, I'm like, 
skimming through it all to try and absorb as much information as I can. I was never the best test taker, but basic office information you would think wouldn't be that hard with someone who basically has a crap ton of office experience. No, I take this test um, and then I'm like, okay, well, you know, this is what I remember and this is also like the standard way that most offices that I have experienced have done this. And then I hand him my test, he grades it, and he says, um, <laughs> Do you want to retake this? Do you want to study again and retake this? I'm sorry, what? He said I failed. Okay. Um, I took back the manual and I took back my test and I literally read word for word what was there and then I went and wrote almost word for word exactly what was on the test. Okay? Um, I, I, maybe I didn't have every single thing right, but you're putting files in a computer and you're naming them. And I mean, I've done this a billion, jillion times. It's not that hard. Um, answering a phone, not that hard. I take him back my redone test and he pulls me into his office and he says, Let me look at your application. Do you have any office experience? Sir, I'm sorry, have you, are you, are you looking at my application right now? I have a ton of office experience and you were trying to question me on that? Okay, and then, and then, ladies and gentlemen, he decides to be like, Oh, I see, you have a second job. I just now see that you have a second job. Well, you know people in my office are not allowed to have second jobs, right? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I do now. Miss Robberstad, I'm sorry, but I don't think this is going to work out. Okay, okay, so, uh, yeah, hmm. I worked for this man for like five hours, maybe longer. Uh, about five hours, I would say, about five hours. Yeah, and then he sent me home, and I was jobless, and I never got paid for that day. Have you ever been fired and hired? Hired and fired in the same day? Because that doesn't sound normal if you ask me. Um, you know, I haven't been fired many times, like twice that I can remember. One was at a restaurant, that's a totally different story. It was haunted. So if you've ever been, you know, had this experience, let me know in the comments and we can like marvel in our great life opportunities. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about how I got fired and my wonderful experience that I didn't get paid for. If you enjoyed this video, then you will like all of my other ones too obviously. So you should like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications because I don't post regularly. Stay tuned for my next video.